my guest room. So anybody that wants to come and stay overnight has a room. There's a picture of my grandma and my aunt, my mother's mother and her sister. This one is the Pieta in Rome. I've seen the real one. I've seen a lot of things in Rome that are interesting. That's St. Francis. Any stray animal, he would take in and take care of him. And this is St. Joseph. I collect dolls. So there's all my collection right there. My grandkids think it's creepy for an old lady to collect dolls. But that doesn't bother me one bit. So I'm looking for something else. I always end up with the same thing. Okay. Red, red, red. Well, this is a pinkish red. That's the bathroom. <laughs> My bedroom. I have dolls in my bedroom. I have dolls all over. I had to put some away because people got embarrassed by my collecting dolls. I used to belong to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church, and that's a statue. Every year on July 16th, there was a procession through the town, and we carried the statue through the town. Well, they had to vote, and one year I won, so. I was queen one year. That's my mother and dad's wedding. That's my mother and dad's certificate of marriage. Joseph and Josephine. Joe and Joe was their name. Those are my grandchildren. This chair is just a just rocker that I liked and I bought it. I <laughs> put it here. I watch TV in here. My favorite shows are mostly Oprah. That's a picture of my, myself and my husband. My husband went to Mexico with the Vatican Choir, and he bought those pictures. That's the lake, lake, skinny atlas lake. This little stand I thought was pretty, so I bought it and brought it home from Europe. My husband loved paintings. He bought that in Italy and brought it home. I used to read, but I don't anymore. My eyes bother me, so I, I don't read as much as I used to. Well, I read a lot of Daniel Steele, yeah. I like to read romances. As old as I am, I still enjoy them. That's my favorite chair. This is in Sicily, that picture. We just went for a little visit. It's beautiful, Sicily is beautiful. The picture of my husband. My husband used to listen to records here all the time and sing with him. He had a few records of his own, so we used to listen to records. I haven't listened to them since he passed away. My mother-in-law lived in the same town as Pope Pius XII. They were kids, they used to play together, and once they had a fight, so my mother-in-law punched the Pope in the face. Yeah, she always told that story, never thinking he'd become Pope. So one day we had an audience with the Pope. We were in a group with a married couple, and he heard Kanachari, and he turned around and looked at my husband. He pointed to him, and he says, kind of Charlie. He called us to, his, to him, talked to my husband a little while. He gave us a special blessing, so we knew him personally. I like to say it's safe to say it's because it keeps me linger and it keeps me younger. They wanted me to forget the basement. I said, oh, no, I, I need the stairs. This is my basement, which is very cold right now. 
I used to spend a lot of time here, but I don't anymore. That's one of the maestros. He's one of the music teachers that Dino knew. That picture we bought in, in Rome. Got some Daniel Steele books there that I liked, the dictionaries. This is my famous chair that I sat on all the time. There's a dollhouse. I love dollhouses, so my grandchildren brought me the ingredients and I made it, and I love it. Now I'll give it to my first granddaughter, great-granddaughter, if we ever have one. There's my TV. I used it a lot, but this last year or so, I haven't come down there as often. Just a liquor bottle. <laughs> hey, Nana. Huh? Nana. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, how are you? Okay. <laughs> That's my grandson, my youngest grandson, my lover. Boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My grandkids think I'm pretty strong, and I think I am too. Hey, Nana, let's arm wrestle. One, two, three. Uh. My God. My <laughs> <laughs> God. She beat me. <laughs> I'm pretty strong for an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> this is my laundry room, and I love it because it's bright. That's why I bought the house. When I saw the sun in the washroom, I said, that's my house. That's my mother's washboard she used for years. I either crochet or, or make puzzles. That one is the one I like. It's big. It had a lot of pieces. It took me a while to make it. That door is the door where the snakes come in, and I'm petrified of snakes. One day, I found one under the sewing machine. I lifted up the drain and there he was looking at me. The things I hate most in the world are snakes and I'm petrified of them. They're, oh, they're harmless. They're, they don't hurt. I, I don't care. I just, it isn't that they hurt me. I just, they're so creepy. I can't stand them. So one day, one crawled in through my basement door, twisted all up and oh, it was terrible. I killed a snake. I don't know how I did it, but I did. I took a pitcher of hot water and threw it on him. And then I mashed his head. Oh, God. Terrible death, but I can't help it. Another time, I took a brick. He was coming in my basement door. And I said, before he comes in, I'll kill him. So I took a brick and threw it at him and mashed his head. And then it wiggled. Oh, God. Can't stand snakes. They always come around me. I don't know why. They know I'm afraid of them or something. I don't know. Seems like I'm always fighting with snakes. Once I stabbed one with a knife. <laughs> I just cut him in half, and I left him wiggly. Oh, God, I just hate to even think of him. The snake? No. Yeah, oh, God. I'm petrified of snakes. I hate them so much, but I, they fascinate me somehow. If there's a snake around, I'll go look at it. <laughs> look at this snake. Got many colors. God. Ooh. There's going to be a lot of them this summer. And there's a lot of kids around. We'll probably pick them up and show them around. I hope they're afraid of them too.